Hello everyone, I'm delighted to have you all here with me once again. Today I'm excited to delve into a topic that's incredibly crucial for all newcomers to this game. Let's talk about the paramount importance of the collector role in Red Dead Online. <laughs> Despite knowing that Rockstar won't be rolling out huge updates anymore, it's heartening to see players continuously coming back and enjoying the game, even in the face of increasingly uncontrollable cheaters. But before we jump right into it, I want to extend my heartfelt gratitude to all the viewers who have subscribed and shown their support by liking our previous videos. Your unwavering encouragement has brought us to this point, and I'm genuinely thankful for each and every one of you. And our new viewers, a warm welcome. Please consider subscribing and hitting that like button. It means the word to us and help us grow this humble channel. Alright, without further ado, let's get into it. <laughs> let's dive into our understanding the value of money and gold. For those of you who are just starting or contemplating this creating another icon, understanding the value of money and gold is of utmost importance. Money along with gold serves as a critical resource at the outset of journey, especially if you find yourself venturing alone without any companions. Sure, you can join a random posse, but it appears that only a few players are willing to lend helping a hand to a newcomer, possibly due to certain assumptions that they might be a burden on a mission. Well, that is just my take on it, not unless, let's get back to the subject at hand. Let's take a moment to calculate how much money we need to prepare at the beginning of this adventure. Starting with the cost of leveling cop cards. By the way, from level 1 to 20, you can still manage to with the free carbine repeaters and cattlemen. Because regardless of the weapons you wield, their impact won't be significant without the right cards and proper leveling. Thus. The first step is acquiring a card and then focusing on upgrading your ability cards and leveling up your core character. A process that can be a rather expensive. To optimize your research, make sure to purchase cards that align with your preferred playstyle. For example, a level 1 scratch card will be set you back for like $50, a level 2 card card costs $350, and a level 3 card requires a $500. Therefore, just for one card, you will need a total of 900 cards in the beginning. But fear not, for the collector role shall become your unwavering companion on this grand adventure. This is precisely why the collector role serves at the fundamental corners stone of this game. Choosing the collector role as your starting point in the game can be game changer that leads you to great success. This role offers a steady flow of a various experience points or XP, and the best part is that you can sell the collected items right away, making it a highly profitable choice. On the other hand, going with bounty role might make earning more challenging. While well, you have the potential, accumulate a lot of cash, often involves waiting until the last minute which can get quite boring, plus without any bounty roll fans, it can be tiresome to gather funds. Embracing the collector role wholeheartedly allows you to level up quickly and unlock cards that perfectly match your playstyle. To make your collection journey a breeze, check out John Rope a fantastic resource for collectibles that simply simplifies the whole process. With the collector role guiding you, the path to prosperity in Red Dead Online becomes crystal clear and more achievable than ever before. So why wait? Dive into the world of the collector role and watch your fortune soar. Unlocking the secret earning gold without buying the bounty roll if you're eager to earn precious gold without purchasing the bounty roll, then head straight to Saint Denis to kickstart the blood money mission. 
a great way to begin your quest of for gold. Additionally, consider teaming up with random bosses as they often engage in bounty missions, providing you with another excellent source of gold. Next, take on contract scaling mission, their report rewarding endeavor that can lead to a handsome stash of gold. And don't forget to participate in Call to Arms events, where you can even more valuable gold rewards for those you keen on a steady gold income. Tackling a daily challenge in is a must. Complete this task regularly to keep the gold rolling in. If you are up for some competitive action, showdowns, and free roams events like King of Castle, Fool's Gold can also help you rack up gold nuggets. Here's, here's the next essential trick to keep in mind. Check, check your progress and rewards regularly. By resetting rewards, you can score an additional 0.4 gold nuggets each time, giving you that extra boost in your gold earning journey. So whether you are riding solo or with a pose, these tips will lead you to gold fo golden future in Reddit Online. Get ready to stack that gold and watch your wealth grow. Let's delve even deeper into this astonishing power of the collector role. Imagine this, as you venture through the frontier, you stumble upon a cache of 10 valuable cards, each carrying a hefty 150 XP. A quick calculation reveals that you can swiftly amass the impressive round 1500 XP in just a few moments. But that's not all, when you factor in the monetary value of this card, which Worth fifteen dollar, you are looking at tidy sum of one thousand five hundred dollars from a single sale. It's truly a treasure trove of rewards. However, the real riches lies in completing full sets of collectibles. This achievement can be exceptionally rewarding, granting you even more significant financial gains with such considerable stash of money at your disposal. You'll be able to afford essential cards and powerful weapons to enhance your abilities. Take for instance the Navy Revolver and Lancaster Repeater, both fantastic choices to bolster your arsenal. When it comes to shotgun, you can go wrong with a trusty pump shotgun. Delivering the devastating firepower in close quarters combat. For rivals, the, re the reliable bolt action is an ex excellent option providing accuracy and punch at a distance and let's not overlook the humble yet formidable bow. Mastering this weapon can help increase your court quickly and stealthily, making you forced to be reckoned with any confrontation. So as you immerse yourself in this world of collector role, remember that it holds the key to not only abundant XP but also a fortune in wealth. With the means of four top-notch equipment, you will rise to new begins in Red Dead Online and become an unstoppable force in the Wild West. The collector role bestows upon you the privilege of acquiring the Criollo horse, a truly magnificent companion with a horse of advantage. Not only does this horse boast incredible speed, but also renowned for its calm demeanor, making it less prone to get spooked compared to other breeds. With the Krillo by your side, your journeys to find collectibles will become a breeze as you effortlessly cover fast distance in a pursuit of hidden treasures. Here's a valuable pro tip when acquiring a new horse. Always remember to change the stirrup. This simple adjustment will prevent your horse from tiring too quickly, allow you to embark one more extended and fruitful exertion without any interruption. Furthermore, forming a strong bond with your acquired companion is a vital for enhancing your experience on the frontier. By interacting and spending quality time guiding your horse, you can rapidly level up its bonding. This deepened connection ensures a formidable partnership, providing you both with confidence and trust as you take on the challenges that await you. So, with the mighty Criollo horse by your side and you bond forged through care and companionship, 
we will become an unstoppable duo in the fast and untamed world of Red Dead Online. Together, you will uncover the hidden riches of the frontier and cement your place among the most preferred collectors in the Wild West. Absolutely one of the most remarkable advantages of the collector role lies in its ability to grant you access to purchasing recipe ingredients, including level 2 or special value tonics. This proves to be an invaluable asset when facing tough adversaries such as griefers, cheaters, and other challenges that may arise in the face of frontiers of the game. Equipping yourself with the, these powerful tonics can be a game changer in these intense encounters, providing you with a significant edge over your opponents. Whether you are in kitty shootout facing off against formidable foes, having these resources ready available at your disposal can be the difference between triumph and defeat. With the collector role backing you up, you can stock on these essential recipe ingredients, ensuring you are well prepared for any perilous situation that may come your way. By fortifying your character with level 2 or special value tonics, you'll be able to withstand more damage, recover quicker, and maintain peak performance through your adventures. So, as you embrace the power of the collector role, remember to make the most of this advantage by acquiring then utilizing these available tonics. With this enhanced arsenal at your fingertips, you'll be better equipped to face any challenges that may test your mettle on the frontier, ensuring a more triumphant and fulfilling journey in Red Dead Online. For those embarking on their journey in Red Dead Online, here are some valuable ability card recommendations to boost your performance and give you edge in the Wild West. These cards are highly effective and can significantly enhance your abilities as you face the challenges ahead. Painted Black, this card is an excellent choice for improving your accuracy and precision in combat. With Painted Black activated, you can mark a specific target and unleash deadly shot with pinpoint accuracy, making it an infallible tool for taking down enemies swiftly and efficiently. Fool me once. As you acquire a fast size for me, for me, fool me once, you increase damage resistance for each consecutive shot you achieve. This card can be a game changer in intense firefights allowing you to withstand more damage and stay fight longer. Comeback stronger, no one likes being knocked down, but with stronger comeback down, you'll be able to um, be able to recover from the damage more quickly and back on your feet, ready to retaliate faster than ever before. This card is perfect for maintaining your momentum and ensuring you don't stay down for long. Landon's Patience This card rewards patience and precision. With Landon Patience equipped, you will see improved accuracy when aiming down sights after sprinting. This added precision can make significant difference in a crucial moment, enabling you to hit more targets more effectively. For your free card, Focus Fire is an excellent choice. It allows you to deal more damage to enemy targets while taking less damage from them. Utilizing this card strategically can give you substantial advantage in various combat situations. By incorporating these ability cards with your arsenal, you'll be well prepared to face the dangers of the frontier and make name for yourself in Red Dead Online. So settle up, sharpen your skill, and unleash the power of this ability card as you carve your path to greatest in the Wild West. I am confident that these valuable tips inside will serve as a guiding light as you venture through the fast virtual Wild West. Embracing the collector role will undoubtedly accelerate your progress, opening the doors to a treasure trove of money and gold. If you found this information helpful and informative, please please consider subscribing, liking, and sharing this video. Your support means the world to us and help our channel grow. Thank you for joining me today and until next time, take care and have a fantastic time in the game. And bye for now, happy trails and may your adventures in Red Dead Online be filled with triumphs and unforgettable experiences. See you in the frontier!